the second he was born, these two pairs of great big brown eyes looked up at me and, and I, I, I just felt that that's when life began. Guess who? It's Sky! When Sky was eventually diagnosed, we entered a world of childhood brain tumours which we knew absolutely nothing about. The type of tumour he had, which was the most common, although very aggressive, was, um, as we were told, an 80% chance of survival. Not for one minute did we actually think he was going to die. And Jim! I, I think about him every, probably every minute. You know, you get on with life and you try and make it the best you can for the others. But every minute you think, he's not here. And then you get on again and you cook dinner and you, you know, do the school pick up. And then again, you think, but I should be collecting Jesse and Sky from school. And it's not till you experience just what those children have to go through. Major brain surgery, which meant that Sky woke up and he suddenly couldn't walk anymore. So that's your first hurdle to, to try and go, right, we're going we're gonna to get you walking again. And you do that, no sooner are they feeling better from the surgery, but then you have to hammer them again with chemotherapy. So every time they're feeling a little bit better, you have to go back into hospital for treatment that is going to make their hair fall out, make them feel sick, make them feel tired. He he always had hope. He always had hope in his heart, as did we. And that's what I have to focus on, the hope that through Blue Sky Thinking, the charity, we can make a difference for the children that will be diagnosed in the future with brain tumours. When we spent time as a family on the ward, we realised very quickly that what children with brain tumours really need is a big cash injection for research. I had no idea that cure rates haven't improved in 40 years. Brain tumours are now the biggest cancer killer in children. I just think a parent should never be told there is nothing more we can do. We as students and children at Dean Close, we value how lucky we are and if we all come together then we can make a massive difference. Me and my team have been working together to work on the yoga in the park to try and raise as much money as possible for our chosen charity, Blue Sky Thinking. People, staff, older oh, Canyons, it's just ex-peoples, ex-parents, um, friends and family of the Dean Coast community. And we're all joined together for a half an hour sunrise yoga session followed by a delicious, nutritious breakfast. And not only does it bring us together as one, but we're, we're raising funds together for this amazing um, charity, Blue Sky Thinking. So we're all going to come together, people who are pro at yoga like Miss Duffin, people who've never done it before like me. It's everyone's involved just to raise so much money for a cause that everyone can really relate to. Everyone's really excited, they've been practicing their yoga moves, so it will be an amazing morning. Oh my goodness, I started off being rubbish, but I've learned to do a tree and a warrior, so I'm slowly getting better, but I'll have to show them off on Friday. So the money that is raised through Yoga in the Park will hopefully get us to or very close to our second target which will fund another full-time research position specifically looking at relapsed tumours because currently there, there is no treatment if your tumour relapses and I just feel that that is something that no parent or child should hear there is there is nothing more we can do so that is our goal